And uh, so we move to the next sex, uh, section actually, so uh, ecosystem next steps. So we hope that we have demonstrated the efforts and current evolution of the ecosystem to some degree, but we of course uh, have plans to support the ecosystem uh, to enable it to flourish even further. Uh, so today the latest uh, grant call closes, uh, but uh, further grant calls will be announced shortly. Grants are meant to support smaller projects that contribute to the ecosystem. So subscribe to Swarm newsletter, follow the blog for more information. Uh, additionally, new fellowships will be structured, structured and announced. As said earlier, fellowships are longer term partnerships with projects building major pieces needed by the ecosystem. Uh, we're also working on providing workshops, summer school and an accelerator for startups uh, that would help gain missing knowledge maybe on the business side and help uh, grow projects growing that way. So um, I'll ask Robert to join us and speak a few words about that as he's um, leading these efforts. So Robert, please. Thank you, Chert. Let me share the overview of the screen. You should have it full screen now. Yes, Robert. Yeah. Yes, we've seen some uh, examples already shown of uh, projects who, uh, which joined uh, the swarm, some previous grantees as well. And we uh, intend to grow this ecosystem uh, through various efforts, uh, specifically by a list of workshops we want to host uh, throughout the summer and up until. Uh, uh, next year uh, we have a swarm summer school coming up in uh, august containing a, uh, a variety of uh, workshops to aid you in the development of your project so not just uh, technically but also focus on other aspects of running and growing your organization these are meant for startups independent uh, developers or research projects and ngos so um, if you do intend, uh, or if you're building already on a DEP uh, focused on data set of sovereignty or interoperability, uh, feel free to join these uh, to meet like-minded individuals uh, and other teams and gain feedback as well. Specifically, if you are uh, working on a startup in which you want to grow and scale, we have the acceleration program called Honeycomb, which launches in September. Uh, it's an eight-week program in which we focus on all aspects related to your uh, on your project to have it grow and make the next steps. So not just uh, as mentioned, not just technical, but also okay, how to grow your organization, what legal aspects will be involved, uh, working on your business model, and for that we gather um, speakers uh, to aid you, uh, mentors and uh, trainers. As well. uh, this is for for startups focusing on data processing and data generation, and also for data providers. So um, we try to get both parties uh, aligned in to come to a fair data society. If you're interested with your project in one of these options, uh, follow our newsletter and blog and our publications because uh, we'll be releasing soon more information on how to join. So, thank you. Thank you, Robert. Mm, so uh, finally, uh, on the topic of data providers. So. Um, we're planning to support public data sharing and maintaining public data sets by the community by providing re rewards to, um, we call them data stewards, those in the community maintaining public data sets so that the community and society can benefit.